Good evening, everybody. Bullets fly right next to a daycare as children are playing just feet away. A few moments later, a man lies dead in the street. Local 12's Brad Underwood is outside the criminal investigation section downtown as police try to sort out the details and find that man's killer, Brad. Rob, Cammie, and police not releasing a lot of details uh, about the victim in this shooting. All we know that we know is that he is 20 years old, and this is the second murder in three weeks in the Walnut Hills area. And this one happened right in front of a daycare where children were playing outside as those bullets went flying by. Just feet from the Divine Daycare lies the body of another homicide victim in Cincinnati. One parent says there were children on the playground when multiple shots were fired. I'm just glad that I have him in my possession now and that all the kids are fine. Kelly Mall says even though her son Chase is safe, she's unsure if he'll be back to this daycare. It makes me second guess if I want to take my son back to that daycare. You know, and right now I don't really have other options, so this is just awful. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Police say after being shot in the chest, the 20 year old ran about 80 feet before collapsing in the grass near McMillan and Stanton. Clarence Taylor says up until a couple of weeks ago, things seem to be getting better in Walnut Hills. We've got to address these young people. Uh, we've got a lot of young folk who've got guns. We're trying to figure out how they're getting these guns. And we, we got to get them off the street and get them productive as opposed to unproductive. Charles Miller was inside his shop when the shooting happened. I heard pow, 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 pow. But well, we have all this street work going on, and as the cars drive by those plates, it's a similar sound. Miller found out someone was killed after getting a call from his wife. I stuck my head out the door, so I'm seeing it right next door. It's very disturbing. Unfortunately, um, something that we're having to live with around here. And Cincinnati police haven't released a lot of information about the suspect in this shooting, only from witness reports that it was a male wearing a gray sweatshirt. This latest homicide brings the total in 2014 to 20. Reporting live downtown, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Can All right, Brad, thank you. And if you know anything about the homicide, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 352-3040. And remember, you can remain anonymous.